Hi, my name is Hayes Hertwig, and I'm a realty advisor that serves New West Burnaby and Coquitlam. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is four reasons that a home doesn't sell and the ways to fix them. Now, there's been some times when people will come by and they've listed with another agent, the home sat on the market for a long time, and then it expires. And in a lot of the cases, I'm able to take a look at the listing and see just a couple of glaring mistakes and just ways that it may have hindered the sale of the property. The first culprit that comes up is bad photos. When you're interviewing your realty professional about listing your home, you do wanna make sure that they have a photographer. So make sure that you ask them, who's your photographer? If they're fumbling around trying to figure out a name, that might be a good indicator that there's a problem. And even worse, if they're saying do it yourself, that might be a real indicator to run. The professional photographers do absolutely amazing work. And with apps that are out there, such as Zillow and even Tinder for that matter, people are conditioned to just swipe left if they don't like something. So you wanna make sure that your photo is tip top number one best looking thing that you can find. These professional photographers can also do things such as have floor plans as well as virtual tours, which is a great asset to use so that people can get to know your place before they show up. So do make sure that whatever realtor you're working with, make sure that they are using a professional photographer. The second one that is one of the main culprits is bad pricing. Bad pricing is something that will destroy the sale of any home at any time. The appraiser doesn't make the price up, the realtor doesn't make the price up, Uncle Joe down the street doesn't make the price. The home is only worth what a buyer is willing to pay for it. So now you may have a biased opinion of your home because you've done a couple of upgrades and that you've made memories in it, and that's totally understandable. But ultimately it comes down to the buyer and they do not care about any family memories because they're not their memories. So when you are pricing your home, you want to make sure that you have a very candid conversation, look at the stats, and try to separate yourself from the emotional attachment that you have. Because as I mentioned, the buyers coming in won't have any interest in that. They want to know how much it's currently worth on the current market value. Another culprit that you've went into is just the bad vibes. Sometimes there's a smell, or a sound or something that's just generally offensive and you may not be aware of it but other people definitely are so this is why your realty professional should be always following up with anybody who's followed into the home and that way you can get some feedback on this and figure out you know if there is that smell what can be done simple ones that are generally known about is you know don't cook fish before people coming into your home or any strong smelling meals because that may put off some people. So you're just trying to be as neutral as possible. And as I said, you'll get feedback from each showing and that way you may be able to adjust to certain things. Which leads to the fourth one. And this one generally blows my mind. Communication. Communication is one of the biggest factors in selling a home. So if you can't get a hold of your realtor, chances are neither can the buyer or their realtor. Your realtor should be able to be reached during normal business hours at minimum by text and generally within the same 24 hour period. So you wanna make sure that the realty professional that you select is strong with communication as well. So to sum up what we're talking about, we basically wanna make sure that the home looks its best, is priced intelligently, is inviting to most people, and you can communicate back and forth so that you can find out if there's any adjustments that need to be made to make sure that you can get your home sold for the most money in the shortest amount of time. So if you have any questions about anything that I've covered today or you're thinking about making a move, please feel free to contact me at 604-522-4777. Thanks.